took her straight to the ER. They took her in. That's pretty much the last time I saw her. symptoms were, were mild, you know, mild headache, some congestion, a little bit of a cough, you know, very low grade fever. Hers, she ended up um, with real severe cough, um, heavy congestion, running high grade fevers, and ended up having, you know, big issue with shortness of breath. before pandemic she was by the book she was protocol and so you know that's another aspect to this that that I just questioned because I mean she kept Lysol in her car so when she went to her car and I, I did too we we spray ourselves down and so you know somehow even with her being she wasn't lackadaisical at all she followed proper PPE protocol and somehow the virus still snuck in on her She was a leader by nature. Um, a lot of her nursing profession was in a leadership position. Uh, but even with being in a leadership position, she was very hands-on. She loved to provide one-on-one -on -one care with her patients. She would bath them. She would provide mouth care. She, would, um, she didn't come out and ask the CNA to go in and do it. If something needed done, Melissa was there in the trenches doing it herself. If she had a patient that wasn't taken care of, she would come home and be so upset because her, that patient wasn't being taken care of. I mean, it, she she got upset and she would tell the people there that they weren't taking care of their, their patients. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
our first date was probably when I was a sophomore and she would have been in eighth grade. proposal didn't go as planned because she was nosy and I told her, you know, I, I picked her up and said, we need to go to town because I had bought the rings. I'm just going to go have them sized, but I hadn't given them to her yet. And I just said, come on, let's go for a ride. And she's like, where are we going? I'm like, we're going downtown. Where are we going? She just had to keep asking where we were going. So she kind of ruined my surprise. she graduated she started out working in dialysis and uh, she worked there for a couple years and then went to the quarry manor up south park road there in Knoll city um became the director of nursing there and worked that job for a couple of years and really she just she just enjoyed working with those people and she always made sure they were taken care of um, and then later on, she ended up going to hospice, and that's the job she really loved. She loved working with those people. He, he said her body is shutting down, her organs are shutting down at this point. I don't think we'll make it through the evening soon. Um, by the time, and I was, I was almost, I was in South Charleston coming through back home. And so I went directly to the hospital. And by the time I got there, she had rested at the end. Just that moment of defeat. Both. She had to be there for three weeks, almost four weeks, all by herself. Um, we weren't allowed to go in and visit with her, spend time with her. Um, I think, I think things may have gone a little different had somebody been able to be there with her. The great person she was. She was. She was kind-hearted. She loved. I mean, her patients. She loved taking care of her patients. I mean, she would go spend her spend our money to go buy things for them, buy supplies for them. She loves making people laugh. Um, she's the one that would work with like the Christmas parties and sponsor you know we would go around and get prizes for all you know make sure there were lots of prizes um, for the employees she was all about being uh, having the ugliest sweaters um, and she would work hours hours on, on making those ugly sweaters 
she just made life so fun for everybody and our jobs can be very stressful you know we're dealing with death every day and she gave her life for someone who possibly didn't have any family for months it is real it you just never know how it's going to affect you Her goal, and one thing she always talked about, was opening up an assistant. Room. She wanted to take care of those those people. Um, right now, one of my projects is to fix it, fix it up, and get it ready and open it up as an assistant living you can. Um, just to honor her.